Hey guys, Toy Tester Tom here, and today I got a mixed bag. I've got some new Monster Jam trucks from this year, and I've got some other cool stuff, Hot Wheels stuff, and a few other little surprises. Pretty cool. Go out to Walmart, some of these I got online, some of these I got at Target, just some collection that I haven't been able to open up yet. And I built building up a few, but I've got the last few Monster Jams here, so I figured I'd bring them all out at the same time. So, let's have a closer look. Pretty cool, eh? Lots of different things here. And I'm gonna open up every one we'll take a quick look. Now you know Toy Tester Tom loves Monster Jam, but there's lots of other things to see. Lots of Hot Wheels things to see. And a few other things. So I'm gonna open these up, we're gonna check them out, and going forward we're gonna do a lot of different things. I've got some cool things coming next week with some new different toys that I'm previewing for a company. And it's pretty cool when you get sent toys that aren't even on the market yet. These are brand new toys coming out. Lots of different things I think you're gonna like. They're not Monster Jam, but it doesn't matter because they're brand new and Toy Tester Tom has got them before anybody else. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that next week and I'm hoping to do lots more partnerships like that because we're building a great Toy Tester Tom nation here and it's about all things toys. Monster Jam and all the rest of it. All fun. Now I got a quick shout out and that's to Ethan Beck. Great new Toy Tester Tom member. He loves watching the videos with his brother, and that's awesome. So Ethan, welcome to the nation. The Toy Tester Tom nation. Okay, now, let's clear this out. Open up right in the middle, we're gonna open these up. Let's start off with this truck. This is a Black Bandit collection from Greenlight. If you know Greenlight, they make incredible replica toys. Trucks, cars, just like Hot Wheels, but they're a little different. Hot Wheels makes thousands of cars and trucks, and our monster trucks, of course. They do Marvel, DC, Spider-Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, just to name a few. They've got a great, great selection. And so does Greenlight. Greenlight's really known for their incredible detail. And this truck is no different. Now, I got it because it's a 4x4. So it's kind of like a monster truck, and I wanted to get something a little different. So it's a 1941 military half-ton 4x4. Pretty cool, all black, eh? We're gonna open it up so you can see the detail too. That's one way to do it. All right, look at this. Like I told you, they have incredible detail. So look at it. This big giant front bumper with a winch. You can see the winch there, pretty cool. Look at the grill here, amazing. Headlights behind there. Big front of the truck. Look at that shovel on the side. It's there, good place to hold it when they're going working heavy duty jobs. And an ax on this side. It's kind of cool because it's all black, right? With the black wheels. And then you got the, the golden ax and the golden shovel. Pretty amazing. Got the exhaust stacks coming out. All in all, really cool looking truck. That's why I got it, kind of cool. And if I can find more like this, we'll get more green light stuff because green light's got lots of great stuff when you think of it. And this is part of the Black Bandit collection. So, you can see there's a lot of the trucks, a lot of the cars. Now, again, I'm not really into, you know, a Volkswagen car necessarily, or the dragster. But, if you collect the whole series, then you got something going. So this is our first one, with a 1941 military half done 4x4. Moving on, another specialty one. And this is Matchbox. And it was the big rival for Hot Wheels for a long time in the early days, until Mattel bought it. And this is... A custom 1968 Mustang Mudstanger. Mudstanger, that's cool. And again, it's lifted, it's four by four. That's why I got it. Pretty cool. Let's open it. Now again, not a Monster Jam truck, but a four by four car. Kind of cool, eh? Not hugely lifted like the Monster Jam trucks, but still cool. And it's a classic muscle car. 
I love it. Look at it. It's a cool color. And of course, Mustangs are pretty amazing. Good detail too. So that's our custom 1968 Mustang Mudstanger. Okay, let's do a couple Monster Gem. Okay, here we go with Monster Mud. Now, why am I buying another Monster Mud? Well, you know what? You know that these are a new spotty concept style. And you're seeing these at the Monster Gem shows. But we have the old styles too. And I've got all those, of course. Multiples of all those. And I've been picking up this new body style for Monster Mutt Rottweiler and Dalmatian. But I never had the original Monster Mutt. So that's why I got it. So in a video coming up pretty soon, I'm going to bring out all the Monster Mutts. The 124s, the 164s, the old style, new style. Everything. Rev treads. We're going to get our connects out. We're going to show them off. So that's why I got this. And a green crushable car. <laughs> love that. So look at it. I love this new punched up style, don't you? Is it your favorite? Do you like the old style? You like the new style? I'm saying I like the new style because it's pretty cool. Don't you think? I know. So that's our monster mutt. Next, let's do this little series. Now this is DC Superhero Girls. We got Wonder Woman. We've got Supergirl, and we got Batgirl, and they're all three cool Hot Wheels cars. Look at them. Now I have a series going, and we've opened up a few of them, quite a few of them, and that's all of the superheroes for DC. And for Marvel, we got some going too. So maybe we'll get these all opened up, and another day we'll bring those out, compare them. But there's nothing wrong with girl superheroes. They're just as amazing as guy superheroes, because they're all superheroes, and Hot Wheels feels the same way. That's why they had this special series for the girls because they're amazing. Now, when I say girls, there's two girls. Of course, there's Supergirl and Batgirl. But this is Wonder Woman. So girls, woman, all the same. Let's open them up. All right, there's Wonder Woman. Look at the colors. You know it's Wonder Woman, if you know Wonder Woman. Just like Hot Wheels always does with their superhero cars, they incorporate the colors they design into the car. And that's pretty amazing. Otherwise, they'd be all the same. So first with Wonder Woman. All right, now here's Supergirl. Look at this, look at the cape and the blue suit. Just like Supergirl and just like Superman, they're pretty similar. Got the same insignia. But this car is really cool. Supergirl. And now here's Batgirl. Again, all the great colors. Look at the cape flying off the bat. Kind of like you have with Supergirl, but Batgirl is pretty cool. Look at the slick color. It's an awesome looking car, really. And the colors are amazing. The black rim, the dark blue. Now it's called Batgirl. Why not Batwoman? Because you got Batman. Not exactly sure, but you know what? I didn't write the comics and Batgirl was probably introduced decades ago. I don't know. I have to look that up because I'm not really a comic book guy, but I bet some of you guys are. So maybe you could tell me in the comments. Maybe it's a little sister, I don't know, cousin, I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe she's just a teen superhero. And teen superheroes are pretty amazing too, because they're kicking butt, teen style. There's our Batgirl. All right, so that's, a, that's that series. Now, let's open up another Monster Jam truck. Sticking with the girl theme, powerful woman. Here is Wonder Woman. Look at this, awesome truck. Now, this came out this year, and I was pretty amazed by it. Part of this series for New Year. I think I've got all those for this year, but it's pretty cool, eh? So let's open it up. Another crushable car. Okay, look at this. Wonder Woman. What an awesome truck, eh? The colors are amazing. Double W, double W. <laughs> That's funny. Now, we've got that in the front too. All the colors, just like Wonder Woman's suit. And look at this. That's pretty amazing too, eh? That's awesome. I think that's a rope, isn't it? Maybe. That's pretty cool though. Look at that, you can see the engine inside. All wrapped around, maybe that's her crown. It's hard to say. You have to match up maybe an action figure of Wonder Woman. I don't have one, but that'd be pretty cool. So that's our Wonder Woman Monster Jam truck. Awesome. All right, next. Let's do this series. I got a series of four. Avengers Age of Ultron. Look at this, look at these. They're kind of futuristic bikes and they got the characters. Really cool. Now, this is Ultron. So, we also have Iron Man. Iron Man's motorbike, all the same, right? But it's Iron Man. Then we got Captain America. 
and of course, Hawkeye. All right, let's open them all four. All right, look at Ultron. It's pretty cool, eh? Look at this color. <laughs> the wheels really spin too, so you can drive around it, and it balances really good. Look at that. Really runs good. It kind of runs on, flattens out on this bottom piece, but then rolls with the double wheels, and I like that. Pretty cool. Have you seen the movie? I actually haven't seen the movie, and I really should, because I'd have more context, really tell you about if these are in the movie, and a little bit more about the characters. And I gotta be honest, I don't really know this character, but you know what? It doesn't matter because it's a fun toy, and it'll also make me wanna watch the movie. So that's cool. So that's Ultron. Next we have Captain America. Now look at this cool bike. It's like a bike car, like an old fashioned. That's kind of what they're going for, I think, here because he's had a lot of history from the war, all that kind of stuff, and it's reflected in the motorbike. Pretty amazing, eh? I think it's cool. So that's Captain America. All right, next we have Iron Man. Oh, we know who Iron Man is. Pretty cool, and it's really revved up. Look at it, it's got the gold to match his outfit, silver, and the black wheels, and it's mostly him. It's pretty stripped down, eh? There's not much use. You can see that he's hopped on the bike, there's not a lot to it. It's mostly wheels and Iron Man. Just the way he likes it. So that's Iron Man. Finally, we have Hawkeye. Look at this. Now this is way different. Look at that gold. Instead of chrome, it's all gold. It's pretty amazing. And it's a bigger kind of a motorbike set that he's sitting on there. He's got all his weapons with him. Pretty cool. Hawkeye. Now, get all these together. Quite incredible. And you know what? We got Hot Wheels sets that we can run these down. They're very thin, so I'm not sure it's gonna go. We can we can launch them on Monster Jam sets even, but all together, that's pretty good. And I'm not exactly sure if that's the full series. I think it's four of them, but there could be more. But I found these and I thought, I gotta get them. Look at them all. Pretty amazing, eh? Do you guys like these? I hope so. Okay, now, two more trucks and they're Monster Jam trucks. First we have Four Shocker with a new look. Awesome, let's open it up. All right, another crushable car. You sure get lots of those. I bet you got tons of these at home. You got a whole big bag of them probably. We could have a whole show showing these off. Okay, there it is, Four Shocker. What a good looking truck. Look at that, eh? Nice, great painting graphics. I really like it. Classic pickup extended cab, but lifted up like all Monster Jam trucks. Really cool. Four Shocker. And our last truck is going to be my favorite for the day because look at it. I don't have to say nothing. Look at it. Crushable car. Kind of looks like a van actually. But here it is. Nitro Hornet. Look at this one. Is that not the most awesome looking body you've seen? Doesn't look like a car. Doesn't look like a truck. It looks like a Hornet. And if you get stung by a Hornet, man does that hurt. I wonder if it hurts if you're beat by a hornet at a Monster Jam event. Probably stings, right? Stings. Look at the cool yellow and orange stripes. Where's the stinger? Oh, I don't want to know because it hurts. But pretty cool, eh? Pretty ominous. Look at that. Great looking truck. And I'm really happy to have it. Put that on my collection. Really excited. So that's our Nitro Hornet. Well, there they are, guys. Lots of different cars and trucks we opened up here today. We had four Monster Jam trucks, one Green Light truck, one Matchbox car, three DC Superhero Girls, four Age of Ultron motorcycles, and we got some crushable cars. So all in all, it was a really good opening. And you tell me what's your favorite. I know most of you guys are huge Monster Jam fans, so we'll probably go with those. And out of those, my pick is Nitro Hornet followed by Wonder Woman. Really close call. But you know what? I love all these other ones too. It's cool to collect things. And you can put these on your sets, have lots of fun with them. Look at that old 1941 military half ton. Pretty amazing. And of course, our Mustang 4x4. All in all, a really good opening. And I hope you like it. You let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, like, post notifications, 
pass it on, share it, spread the word about the Toy Tester Tom Nation. Because you know what? I'm just Toy Tester Tom. You guys are the nation. So together, let's get big. So thanks for watching, guys. And we gotta thank Hot Wheels, DC, Matchbox, Greenlight, Marvel, and me, Toy Tester Tom. So thanks a lot for watching, and we look forward to more great toy testing and lots more Monster Jam trucks and lots of character cars too on Toy Tester Tom. Talk to you soon.